Have you ever wanted to know how to create those screen recordings where everything that's on your computer or laptop screen shows on your videos? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this and we're going to be using an application called Canva. But not many people know that Canva can do these screen recordings and it's really simple, really easy. And if you don't want to learn any kind of fancy video editing applications and all the complexity that comes with them, then maybe Canva is the best solution for you. Let's dive in and take a look exactly how to do this. Okay, first up is the good news. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom here on the pricing page, you will see that, let me find it, recordings is free. So you don't have to pay for Canva. I pay for it every year anyway, because I use all kinds of the other features, but the basic recordings is free. What, you, what they do have is a couple of advanced features like enhanced voice and background remover, and they are paid ones, but I'll show you them in a bit anyway. Right, okay, so we've just gone into Canva. Now, this will only work on certain templates, but one of them that I know works is presentation. Now, this is how a lot of people would actually use this. They would have created their own presentation within Canva, a slideshow, presentation deck, or even just they want to show off some work. And they would add the video in of them talking through each slide, maybe. So you don't have to do it that way. I'm going to show you how you can just share anything that's on your computer in a second. If we just go to design and let's just choose, let's just pinch one of these presentations and just apply that, it'll make more sense. So we'll just throw that basic default uh, template in there. Now, in order to upload video and do the screen recordings, it's a little bit hidden away, but we're gonna go to uploads and then we want this record yourself button. Now you'll notice we've just pressed record yourself and it's popped up and there's various different things. The first time you open this, you might get asked to, uh, to allow your camera and microphone within Chrome, like a default permissions prompt, if you like. So we'll just allow it. Now in the bottom left-hand corner, we can see me and I can move that around. I can put it up there or up here. You can put it wherever you want. If you click on these buttons, you've got effects and filters. So if you wanted to add a filter, you can do. If you wanted to add an effect at the moment, it's got skin smoothing, so you can add skin smoothing. Now I'm, um, I don't need any of that nonsense. I'm, uh, I'm beautiful enough, so I'm going to ignore that. And you've also got the, sh the shape size, so you can have a full rectangle, or I prefer the circle. And next button, you've got a mirror. So again, I'm going to leave it like that. And the last one will just turn the camera off. Now, don't worry too much about this. This is more just um, depending on what you want to show. Top right. We've got the settings button. Now this is saying that we've got the camera and then we've also got our slides and we can kind of select through our slides here. And what would happen is if you pressed record, you would record for each slide. In other words, I could click on this and then I could record something. And then I would click on this and record something and click on this. And it would record it as like separate kind of files, if you like, rather than one continuous one. So I'm gonna go back to this settings one in the top right. You've got the drop down menu if you've got uh, different cameras, different microphones. And I am going to caveat this slightly that this might all go a little bit weird and wacky in a second because I'm actually using a screen recording tool to show you a screen recording tool. And both of these applications might fight for the microphone and the video a little bit, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Next, you can go to camera and screen. What that does is it gives you this pop up. Now this is saying, do you want to share um, a Chrome tab? Do you want to share a window? So window is if you add different windows open like Explorer, Chrome, an application, for example, and the entire screen does exactly what it says on the tin. So this is where you're not limited to just sharing what's on your presentation or what you've got open in Canva. You can share your entire screen. Let's try it and see if it works. So I'm just gonna press share and it's going to go all crazy and show infinity and beyond me um, as that kind of wades in and it's 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 got the um slides in the background so if you didn't want the slides in the background obviously you don't need to set up a slideshow you can just do this on a blank document now if i just press record this is where it might go wrong but let's see i'm going to give it a countdown so you can get ready and then what I'm hoping it will do is that if I go to my desktop and you can see I've got this little vidIQ icon here, I'm just gonna move it around just to show we're recording. I'm not in Canva now, I'm just on my desktop. And then I'm gonna go back, there you go. So I've gone back and I'm just gonna press done. Now what I'm hoping, so this is now showing us what we've just recorded. So if I press that play button and 
can hopefully you can hear me okay because I can hear myself. But you see how it's showing everything that happened on my desktop. So let's pause that. So that just shows that you can record everything that's on your screen. You're not confined to just Canva. But equally, if you did want to just run a slideshow, you can do. Again, I'm going to go back up to that settings and I'm just going to change that back to camera. And if you wanted to record just stuff for that slide, then you can press record and so on. So let's just press, tell you what, let's go to this first one and we'll just press record. Three, two, one. And I'm just going to wave. And you see there, it's got a little, um, little red circle around it saying recording, so you know that it's actually doing something. Let's press done. And I'm going to exit studio. In fact, I'm going to ignore that. Should have clicked on save and exit at the top, but luckily it's not as stupid as I am, and it's actually going to prompt me to save and exit. So now we're back to the um, to the Canva kind of template where we're going to do most of the work. And what I'm going to show you is just a few options that we've got in here. Now, if I go to number three, you'll see there's our recording that we created. And you'll see in a second, it shows the desktop and so on. Now you can then resize that if you wish. There you go. You don't have to have that presentation showing in the background. So you can resize it. You can add um, graphics in if you needed. There's, there's, you've got all of the normal functionality now of Canva on the side. So you can add in whatever you want on top of your screen recording as well. So that's really good for like calling things out or adding text or letting people visually see what you're doing as well. I was going to jump back to page one because this is where we recorded something. And if I press play, hopefully you're just going to see me waving like an idiot. There you go. There's the idiot. There's the wave. And again, we can edit this even further now. So I can now resize this if needed. I can still move it around. You're not kind of restricted to where you recorded it. You still got the option to remove around, move around, sorry. You can edit it. So if we go to edit, you've got a couple of different things in here. So you can actually do an enhanced voice, which is like, um, I'm telling you how to suck eggs here, but you basically improves the audio. This is a paid version. Um, you can change the playback speed, so I'll now just wave faster, and you can tell it to repeat and keep playing automatically. Again, you can add filters in there if you wish. Let me just pause that. And one really good kind of um, function that you've got, and you can see by this crown, anything that you ever see in Canva with a crown means it's a paid version. But one other thing you can do is you can press this and you can remove the background. So it's not um, it's not always like brilliantly accurate, especially when like right behind my head, I've got a black chair. So my, my kind of black hair and black chair blend in a little bit, which is why you'll get a little bit of overlap. But there you go, it's not too bad actually. So remove the background apart from that black chair. But all you would do is if you wanted to remove the background, just make sure you've got some distance between yourself and the next object. But I'm just gonna control Z and undo that. I quite like the background. Now, one thing you could do if you wished is you could almost put like a um, you could almost put like a circle in the background. So if we kind of shape this that way and that way and go to position and send it backwards. You'd have to mess around with this slightly. You get my point. So now we've kind of framed it as well. So you can add different things in. And like I say, you can now edit this like a normal document apart from you've added the video in. And it was free. It was easy to do. And there's nothing to stop you from doing that with your own screen recordings too. So if that wasn't useful enough already, you can actually also do this in the Canva mobile app. So I'm just going to quickly show you. So you have to open Canva and then again, go to a template and I'm just going to choose mobile video because it fits the same format of the actual phone that I'm using. And I'm just going to choose a template here, just any, just so you can see. I think the one caveat with this is I don't think you can share your entire screen. I can only see how to do it when you're um, putting video onto an existing design or template. Again, you want to go to Uploads, and then you're going to click on Record Yourself. You're going to get a permission setting. So you're going to have to choose the permissions on your phone if prompted to say that it, to allow access to the microphone, video, that kind of thing. And similar as before, you just choose the uh, kind of size and the shape of the button, and then you just go for it and press Record. I will caveat this in that it doesn't also show you the video, so it's, it's kind of hidden. So it looks really promising. It looks like it'll be useful, but maybe a little bit glitchy at this point. But same thing, save and exit, and then you've got the video there that's within your uh, design. You can reshape it, you can move it, you can add a body, you can do whatever you want with it really, but pretty good feature nonetheless.